Morning guys, welcome back to the One Auto channel. I've got this one here behind me. It's a 2010 Ford Galaxy uh, TDCI. It's in because the uh, electric windows are not working. Uh, well, basically all from the electric, electric windows work on the, uh, the passenger side, the two rear ones, but the actual switch pack from the driver's side uh, door panel doesn't work at all. There's nothing, not even the mirror. So let's show you. We'll plug it in and we'll read some codes. Okay, so inside the vehicle, switch back for the driver's door window is um, uh, stuck up so press it down 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 nothing completely dead even the mirror doesn't do anything you can't you can't see the mirror moving flick it over to the other side nothing nothing happening at all that is completely dead um, the rear window lock child lock thing doesn't illuminate there either so I've scanned all the modules for codes. Um, we've got a few here. Audio control module, I'm not bothered about that at the moment. Driver's front door module, yes I am. I want to look at that. Just to explain that one, the passenger front door module, I'm not bothered about that. I've looked at that um, on, a, uh, on a previous occasion. It's got a faulty uh, door lock module here because uh, the central locking doesn't work on here. So we know about this. So this is the one that we are concerned with. So <clears throat> we pop into there and take a look and read our codes. Uh, let's see what comes up. Right, okay, we've got a, a Linbus fault, which uh, linear local inter interconnect network. So that network, the Linbus network, is a single wire network. Um, that is a low speed network. Um, what does this code mean? It's saying fault 87 it means it's a missing message 2f means the fault is currently present okay so we've got a limbus missing message so on our wiring diagram here um, we've got the drivers drivers door module there the rear right one there left rear passenger side there um, we've got no illumination of the um, rear window lock um, on this uh, switch pack just here so we'll just check powers and grounds first of all it is comes with a fuse here uh, wherever this is fuse uh, fuse three coming in um, two black wires and then you've got your gray and blue which is your lin bus wire so um, we'll just check our power and grounds here first of all okay so I've got the switch pack out basically just some tabs either end. Um, there's our two black wires, there's our grey and blue wire just there. So one of these blacks is going to be your ground and one of them is going to be the uh, feed. So we'll just check that now. Okay, so we've got my uh, meter rigged up. I'm just grabbing an earth there from the uh, breakout box, DLC breakout box. So let's put the ignition on. In fact, let's start it up. Right, so, let's put that one in there, it's giving us a big fat zilcho, that's probably not very good, uh, put that one into the other one, just there, we've got our 0.02, so that's our ground, take it out, yeah, put it in, hold on, Put it back in, 0 0.02, yeah, so this one here, we've got no power, yeah, zero, so we should be getting some battery voltage down there and we're not, let's see if we can find that fuse. So while I was down here, I thought I'd just check this Limbus um, wire for its signal, um, we know we've got no power, but I thought I'd check it anyway, and you can see, we have got some communication going on, so that side of things is good. Okay, so just searching for this uh, fuse box or uh, gem, whatever they call it, general electric module. Uh, get my light in here. Let's check the fuses. The fuse we're looking for, fuse number three, is right at the back here. That's it. Not these, not these ones. It's at the back. If 
right up there. Get some light in for you, it's difficult to show you. There we go. Yeah, so. Just up there, so I was just going through, just checking them all. The old scope on a rope. That lights, that lights, that lights, that doesn't. So this fuse is blown. Let's check those while I'm here. Yeah, those ones are right. So we've blown a fuse. All right, so I've just pulled this fuse out. Definitely is blown. I've got a new one installed. So I'm now going to uh, turn the ignition on and uh, see if it blows again, start the engine, see what happens. Right, let's put the ignition on. Do you even hear anything blow? Start it up. Have we got anything working? Now wouldn't you know, just a blown fuse. I suppose this all lights up now as well, doesn't it? Yep. That does that one. That does that one. And that one does that one. But why did it blow? Okay, doing a bit more digging, I pulled up all data here for the central junction box, which is the uh, fuse box basically. And a bit more digging. Fuse F3, you can see 10 amp interior light supply. So um, I wonder if the interior light has popped it. We'll go and check. All right, still got the engine running. So that works now. That works now. When I put the fuse back in, it came on like this. This was on and quite hot, it'd been on quite a while. But the middle one, the big interior light, doesn't work. So I'm wondering whether this bulb popped and blew the fuse. Let's just check the current draw on these now. Okay. So, I haven't got a fused buddy, so I've made my own. A bit crude, but it does the job. Um, so I've got that in place of the fuse. 10 amp fuse is up there. Got my 60, 60 amp clamp on a 20 amp setting. Just there, so I'll turn these interior lights on and see what it pulls. Right. I've got this set up now and running. Nothing is on or I think major is on. We've got about half an amp there. Okay, so what I'll do is I'll press this on. I have to zoom you in, I'm charging the scope. You see that? Right, press it on. It's a little spike and it raised up. Let's see what that is. So that's with one map reading light on. Seven hundred and forty seven milliamps, 0.7 of an amp. Alrighty. And let's press the other one on as well. And that's just jumped up again. Move that up. 1.246 amps. Okay. Right, I think what I'm going to do, I think I'm going to change, get this out and change this bulb. I will recheck the uh, current draw then. Um, hopefully, that's all it was that caused it, but obviously, um, it's on the same fuse for this uh, switch pack down there. Well, that blew my theory out of the water because I've talked, I pulled this off. There wasn't actually a bulb in there. I've just put a bulb in. So now it works. 
So we can still check the uh, current drawer on there anyway. So if I put uh, if I put that on, that on, and that on, we'll see what we're pulling now. Right. So that's all the interior lights on. One and a half amps. So I just had another thought. I've opened the tailgate, and there's two interior lights there, and um, just checked. Just over two amps. Uh, there we go. Um, hmm, weird. Okay, let's uh, clear this code out now. Hopefully that's gone. Yay, we are gone. So I've just gone back to all data and just checked the power distribution for the um, interior light and one thing that this has got as well which is built into the uh, gem module down uh, the fuse box down there is the um, battery saver mode like a relay a dimmer relay for this uh, interior light here um, and it does dim out I've been on a road test with this, I've had the windows open, closed, driving along, aircon on, fast, slow, lights on, you name it, I've tried to make that fuse blow, uh, it just won't do it. So I think the customer's going to have to have it back. Is this going to dim out? There we go, that just dimmed out. So just in my quest to try and find out why this fuse blow blew, um, I just, I've even come down here to this door hinge. So we've just got that um, power feed wire that comes in here through there to this little switch module. Um, it comes in according to the wiring diagram on a brown and green wire, which is down in there which was something, something down in there. I've had these wires back expecting somewhere to see a short or a short back in here somewhere. And I am absolutely baffled because I cannot find anything. So these wires are all in good nick. Um, quite frankly, I don't know where else to go with this. Um, it's working. The customer can have it back and try it. We'll see what happens. Uh, deal with it if we have to. I don't know. I've searched and searched and searched and searched the reason why the uh, fuse blew. I spoke to the customer, the uh, interior light went, was removed because it blew. Um, she removed it so she could go and get another one. Never got round to replacing it. Um, so that's, that was a long time before the window. Uh, I've just checked the back hinge as well for the wiring, this hinge. Everywhere I can think of, I cannot find my blue. So, unfortunately for this one, she's just going to have to have it back. Uh, she's fully aware of it. Uh, see how it goes. I've been on a road test, driving along, windows open, closed, doing everything I possibly possibly could to, uh, to try and make it blow. Uh, came came in with the windows from this side not working, and now they work. So. Thanks for watching. Uh, if you've got any clues why, leave them in the comments. Um, don't forget, connect to me on Facebook, Twitter, Google+. Thanks for watching.